what's up you guys so today we're going to be talking about dating in today's world so please hit that like and subscribe button and let's go ahead and get into this so you guys i've so i've been single for like about three years now maybe a little bit longer and uh it's been selectively and that's because i've tried dating you know like the normal person does when they're single um but the thing of it is is i just i guess i haven't found the right person that really interests me or that really just sticks uh in my life uh so you know that's fine so recently i have been talking to somebody um and we really enjoy each other's company and like the best thing about this um like relationship is like we are genuine we were just talking about this yesterday it was like we he the nicest thing i've got from him was just, like two days ago um so we, we hung out last thursday and i got a message from him friday saying hey you know i uh, really had a good time you know and one thing that really made me feel good is he's like oh um i don't know he's like honestly like i feel good when i'm with you um i feel like it's genuine i feel like i can be myself and that made me feel really good because i'm like you know that like i was being myself you know i was trying to like um basically <laughs> not put too much pressure into things you know stuff like that so the first time we met we went out to the park then after that we went to uh we went to his place so we'll go hang out for a little bit i met his cats and then after that we went to go have dinner and then after that we went back to his place talked a little more hung out and i ended up like getting home like around close to like 11 uh so like we literally we hung out like almost a whole entire day um so that was really nice you know and i guess right now i'm at a point in my life to where i just don't really plan much as far as like dating like i just i'm kind of just going with the flow you know in the past i've tried to control things too much i feel like in the sense that back when i was like um like 29 that's basically when i stopped dating uh I was like, you know what? I need to like spend time with myself and just do my own thing, which is great, you know, and I encourage everybody to do that. Get to know yourself, get to know what you like, get to know what you don't like, your dislikes, um, get to know your qualities that you may have to offer to somebody else when you are uh looking or interested again. Um so I did all that. I started traveling. That's exactly why I started going to all these skate campgrounds and I just really, really enjoyed that. And I met a lot of cool people along the way, but at the same time, I've, you know, I've, I guess low key, I've always been hoping that I could meet some guy, some guy who has like the same interests as I do when I go to these campgrounds and, you know, um, it'd be great if we can like, if I can meet somebody and we can do all these things together that general, somebody that like genuinely likes to do this, you know, likes to be outdoors because let me tell you guys, I've, I've <laughs> dated a lot in my time and still to this day i get people that are like oh yeah i love camping and it's just like literally they've never been camping on their own don't even know what to do when they're camping like and i'm not throwing shade that's just it's just like don't lie to me and be like oh yeah you know i love this and that just to gaslight me into actually doing that with you and then come to find out you don't really care about the outdoors at all you just want to be either close to me or you just want to like, I don't know what some people's intentions are when they say the things they say and they're not saying the truth. Uh, but yeah, you guys, and um, I don't know, it's just the best thing that I could have done. Like I said, I started to, it sounds cliche, but I pretty much learned to love myself even more. Uh, like I said, get to know myself a lot more. And um, so, yeah, and you know, I just... I thought about this the other day, but I basically also um, kind of like towards the beginning of the month, I was like testing the waters to see if somebody that I was interested in was going to like work out or not and definitely didn't work out. Um, if you guys are interested to see why I made a video on that on April 5th and the video is titled um, Today's a Great Day. So in that video, I kind of explain what happened with that person and basically i was um i wouldn't even say seeing him because like i have to be honest i've never been interested but i was just trying to see if i can maybe like learn to like him and i say that because i felt like this person is more of a friend than anything else 
but we enjoyed each other's company and stuff like that and just hanging literally just doing nothing you know um so that was cool but this person is very controlling and very manipulative um so with that being said i <laughs> have found out that i don't want anything to do with them um like romantically like honestly even as friends and that's kind of bad to say but it's just the truth um you can't be friends with somebody who who's liked you um and if you like if you are it takes a long time it takes um time for that to happen so anyway um yeah and i say manipulated because like i said uh so last time i went over to his place i literally said that i didn't plan on sleeping with him like in his bed you know, like we're not a couple so it's like we're not doing that <laughs> you know what i mean um first of all you guys i've slept by myself for like years i've been single for years and you can't ask somebody who's been single for years oh yeah let's just sleep in the same bed together and cuddle all night like get out of here you know what i'm saying like no so anyway this person i just don't like the fact that they can't spend time by themselves um they've gone on trips by themselves but every time they've told me about the trip it's always 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 like oh yeah but i wish i could go with somebody oh you know i wish i just wish i could take somebody with or it's like basically they they're not happy with themselves they're not they're not happy with themselves they don't love themselves because if they did they wouldn't ever need somebody you know or even mention that like that's coming off as very very needy you know and let's be real that's what it is you know we all would like to have uh, another person to spend time or uh, share a special moment especially like on vacation because it could be like really romantic right but at the same time i personally am not just gonna pick anybody just because i'm lonely and like i want to take somebody with me like that's kind of weird you know that's like that's just not right that's how people end up meeting someone else or marrying people who they don't even love and then years later they're like oh i didn't love you i just i just i was lonely <laughs> you know so anyway you guys i just take my time and my um my dating life very very seriously i don't put time and effort into an nobody or anything that doesn't deserve it um, or is worth my time or effort. Um, once I see a red flag or something that I don't like, like you're not gonna be it. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's good and it's great to be picky. And I advise you guys to be very picky because, you know, I you can't settle for anything. And being picky, you kind of find what you're looking for, what you're not. And yeah, sometimes you may be too picky, and that's probably why I'm single. You know. Um, well, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's not why I'm single. I'm single because I haven't read the right person who, like, I want to continue to spend my time with and who doesn't waste my time and shows me that they have good intentions at heart. You know what I mean? So, um, I don't know. Like I said, I'm just trying to see where this is going with this person. And um, I just know that we really enjoy each other's company. We laughed, like, a lot. We laugh a lot when we're together. We just have we last time he came over to my place which is the first time um like we had a fire then like we went out he's like let's go for a walk and i love that because like that's one of the things i've always wanted to do is to bring over somebody and like you know go for a nice romantic walk at night and to me that's just very very enjoyable you know um being under the stars and the moon while you're just talking to somebody and like i don't know there's just nothing better than that feeling you know what i mean and so we did this we did just that we hung around under the stars then it's funny because like it started raining so we actually ended up <laughs> we were like a few yards away from my place so we like ended up running back to my place but it was just kind of funny and um so yeah we just did nothing but watch youtube videos and laugh and watch a whole bunch of karen videos <laughs> and um yeah i don't know you guys i'm just at a new uh stage in my life to where i call all the shots i control everything in my life and there's no other there's no better feeling than that you know and i feel like things are slowly settling into place for me um as far as like my happiness and my peaceful like my my, my peace of mind has 
like been so good lately you know and i'm actually you know you guys i've dealt with a lot of things uh over the past few months especially um and i have not begun to heal over those certain things uh one day i will make a video on this i want to really speak out on the horrors of the modeling industry and exposing certain things that are not right in the modeling industry um and that's basically what i mean is uh, i am solo now but with that being said i am still and have and will continue to deal with things that affect me and stay in my head or i uh, things that are reminded like i i um remember certain things sometimes and then i just get like in this weird mood you know what i mean uh so anyway um and it's because i haven't done any reflecting on um you know just reflecting on those things period uh so a lot of times we just we live so busy we live such busy lives if you really think about it <clears throat> sorry excuse me <laughs> we live such busy lives a lot of times and we're always on social media we're always on the go we always have jobs we have friends we have family all sorts of stuff so we just don't stop and um heal and when i mean heal is like well, i don't want to be like cliche but it's like we just put that stuff in the back of our mind and we'll deal with it later and then you wonder why later you're at the line of subway wanting to cry over something that you're have been thinking of but never got to heal or let go of yeah because that was me a week ago went to subway i'm standing there in line and i just i don't know why i just started having these thoughts of things that I was feeling back then and uh I just I just started I feel I felt like sobbing honestly because I just felt so upset and so sad um I guess I don't know I have a lot of stuff to work through honestly you know there's been a lot of times where um basically the root the root of this cause is uh when I was depressed uh last month or whatnot you know I just never got to really talk about my feelings and never really got to about never really talk never really got to talk on why i was feeling the way i was feeling and what was making me feel that way and why i was feeling stuck and why i was feeling unhappy and all of that nobody really knows that um other than like people that are very close to me so um anyway you guys i want to make another video with that coming up soon it's just very still it's very it's a touchy subject for me still because it's still very fresh um so with that being said i basically just want to say that i have that video coming up and you know uh, i want to speak and clear my mind on things that are gonna make me feel better so anyway you guys but that's pretty much it you know um just a little bit about me you know it's crazy out there in the world uh, one thing i do want to say is <laughs> A really quick rant but one of the things that i really don't like is like for example grinder uh you get a lot of these guys who like just don't want to show you their face who they are like who you're speaking to and my thing is like i always tell these guys this i'm like look okay listen listen closely you're not the president of the united states you're not like a big celebrity that's out of not out of the closet you're no offense but you're nobody special so for you to say and be so paranoid of not wanting to be seen it's fine i promise you it's fine it's fine it's fine nobody cares nobody cares nobody cares nobody wants to sit there and take a screenshot and show their friends and oh my god look I don't. I don't have time for that. I have way out of way a much more other things to do with my time and my life than to sit there and gossip about who I'm talking to and that's just not me. I don't know. That's just kind of weird if you are like that because it's like get a life, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, so that's the reason why some of these guys are so scared. Because literally, some of them have told me that they've been outed by other people, you know. So anyway, or exposed that, you know, like if they're straight, they'll say, you know, oh, this person showed the screenshot to this other person. So that's why now I don't send photos of myself. And I'm like, okay, that's valid. But I don't speak to nobody that I don't know who the hell I'm talking to. So I've got to know who I'm talking to. You know what I'm saying? It's just like this. If I were to make this video and make it all black, 
you like black at all where you can't see anything you would be like well who is this you know what you'd be confused you want to know who this is talking speaking to you so it's the same thing with me i want to know who i'm talking to at all times and you best believe i'm probably going to ask you for more than one photo to make sure that that's you because you guys i have been catfish in the past and i'll make a video of this uh sometime soon but you know it was, it was kind of scary but uh, but that's it you guys. I just want to make that video um, Comment below on what your experience is or was dating um, You know, and it's crazy out there you guys so be safe be careful Don't forget to like and subscribe uh, this video and I'll see you guys in the next video and oh by the way Do you like my shirt? So it looks like I'm gonna go for a date. You want to go for a date? Well, I'm not. I just wanted to dress up today and look good. You know what I'm saying? So, all right, you guys. Well, thank you for watching. And again, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll be putting more videos out soon on just commentary on everyday news, um, celebrity news. It's just going to be everything. Um, camping, exploring, everything. This is going to be like just a taste of my life all around <laughs> so thank you guys again i appreciate your support and i'll see you guys in the next video